Hello. Hello, Caillou. It's Freddy. Oh, hi, Mayor Farsi. How's it going? Good, thanks. I heard that you and Dora got engaged. Congratulations. Thank you, Mayor Farsi. I hear that you are planning an engagement party and you want to use my residence as venue. Well, if it's okay with you. Of course it is. After everything you've done for the city four years ago, it's the least I can do. Well, thank you. I know it's short notice, but we want it tonight. That can be done. I will see you tonight. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. How exciting. Engagement party in one of the richest residents in the city. We deserve the best. We're gonna make this party so epic. I imagine it's to die for. You like potato. And I like potato. You like tomato. And I like tomato. Potato. Potato. Tomato. Tomato. Let's call the whole thing off. Na 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 na. Ha ha ha. Well, I think we are ready for the engagement party. Yes, we are. This is my favorite song, Annie. You better not sing this without me ruining it in any way. I promise. I can't believe Tara and Kai you are engaged. I know. I remember when they just got together. It seems like yesterday. Yeah, it's amazing. Are you ready? Fiance? I am ready. Fiance. Are you ready? Wife? More than ready. Husband. Are you ready, granddaughter? Might be a good idea to leave those sentences with the couples. Let's go, everybody. Are we there yet, Dad? I will strangle you if you say that again, and I don't care if I'm driving, not to mention if it's your engagement party. Boris, look. We're here. This building looks so cool. Mayor Farsi was so generous to let us host at his venue. Too bad you don't have a plus one Rosie. As a matter of fact, I do. Here he comes now. Hey, I'm just here for the boobies. Okay, first off Rosie, what the hell? And second, you can't invite a stranger you found on the street as your plus one. Sure I can. And for your information, me and Steve have an incredible bond. We click right away. Don't touch me. I'm doing well for myself. I'm sure you are. Your taste in men never seems to amaze me. Hi everyone. Vina. Welcome. Mom, look. This place is massive. Get over here. 
This is not a playground for 20 year olds. This place looks smashing. I always like hearing you say smashing. Caillou and Dora really outbid themselves. Might be an idea to use this residence if we get engaged. Well, we'll see. Haha. <laughs> hey guys, it's been ages. Little Red. Welcome. Hey Dora. Mike, you came. Hi again. Colleen, good to see you again. This is my wife Priscilla. Nice to meet you. You too. Hey Miss Warbucks. Ash. You came. Welcome to my residence everyone. Thank you so much for doing this. Whoa, what is that? That is my automatic door system. Everything is electrical these days. Awesome. Come inside everyone. Welcome to my humble abode. We should expect dinner to start at 8, so please make yourself welcomed. Oh hell yes, I'm starved. Please shut up. So kind of you to make some of the food cold. It's my pleasure, my wife also makes the greatest salsa. Ooh, can't wait. Listen Annie, I'm going to the toilet. Okay. Don't start the song without me or you will be in painful trouble. Okay, I promise. Hey Bill. Yes, Jenny? There's something I need to say and I know it may not seem like the right time. But... Hey, I think the entertainment's about to start. Hello everybody. First off, welcome to this beautiful couple's engagement party. Now we are going to start with entertainment of the night. Presenting Annie Warbucks and Daddy Warbucks. Wait, no. Warbucks isn't here yet. I'll get grounded if I start without him. Too bad. We're wasting time. Now start the song. Okay, okay. Oh. My. God. Microphone sounds. That stupid orphan is trying to start without me. Must. Piss. Quickly. You like. Potato. You like. Tomato. Oh. Potato. Tomato. Let's call the whole thing. <laughs> um, that was hard to watch. Don't think Warbucks will be pleased. I'm coming, Annie. You will no pain. Let's call the whole thing off, all right, and get this ratty freckle dance off stage. How dare you start the song without me? But you weren't here, I was forced to sing. I had enough of your excuses. You always lie a lot, you were nothing but self-centered, you just want attention in the spotlight. No, it's not true. Well you've just proven it by singing alone. That's it, you were grounded 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 for 52,000 years. When this party is over, you will receive punishments. Are you all right? You saw that. I'm not all right. Come here. Hey everyone. It's time for the toast from the happy couple. Thank you, Freddy. And thank you all for coming in such an important occasion. So, six years ago, I met this lovely girl at the Victoria Cafe, we talked, we flirt, and then we kissed. It was love at first sight. And then mom grounded me. Well, yeah. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. You know. I know that everyone here has pretty mixed, or even negative views about our engagement, under certain circumstances. But I want to be clear with every single one of you, that Dora is my heart and soul. And I love her. 
True, we've done some, pretty awful things, but because of that, we're a match made in heaven. That was touching. Sorry, I need some air. I will come with you, darling. I'm gonna make quick poops. Don't be too long. I shagged someone once. Good for you. Hey Dora. Caillou's speech is absolutely romantic. It's lovely. I'm so lucky to have him. Me too. Ha 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 ha. You know what I mean. Ha 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 ha. Am I lucky to have you? No. I'm unlucky to be in your presence. Hey guess what? Ugh. What? Caillou sounds like pretty cool character, huh? Define cool. He's funny. Maybe if I sit in his chair, I can impersonate as him. Please don't. Dora, my sweet love, I met you long ago at a cafe. We flirt, and then we kiss, and then flirt, and then, um, what was the next part? Oh my god, just please sit back down here. I know that we are awful but I'm in love with my dear sweet Dora. Just shut up. Wait. What? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Guys. He's dead. He's been shot. Don't look, Sabrina. Hey everyone, I'm back. You'll never guess to what Freddy has in the- Oh my freaking god, what the hell happened? Somebody killed Steve. That poor boy. Oh my god. This is scary. Someone is trying to kill us all. Run. Run for your lives. Oh my god, the door is broken. Kick it down. The door has strong steel. I can't. Alright everyone. The automatic door systems has blown fuse from the storm. It looks like we are going to be stuck here for a while. There's no way out. What are we gonna do? We can't just stay here with a killer lurking somewhere in the house. Right. Does everyone have their cell phones? I'm not picking up any signal. Same here. No bars. The storm must have damaged the reception. Wait, there's a landline over there. Ugh. Who uses a landline nowadays? Apparently you do, because this is your house. Doesn't matter. The line's dead. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey! Alright look everyone, especially that bald kid, let's keep our hats on and let's figure a way out of this. He's right. We just got to stay calm. With a killer in the house? Hi, has anyone seen Cole? I thought he was with you. No. He said they wanted some alone time. No, it can't be. He wouldn't do something like that. Well, it's a bit suspicious. Hold oh, everyone. Sorry, I was taking too long. I needed a bathroom break and looked in the mirror too long. You're a monster, Cole. Pardon. We know what you've done. You committed murder and tried to get away with it. Rosie loved that man. No, I didn't. That man loved Rosie? Murder? What are you talking about? Well, it doesn't look good for you, Cole, doesn't it? Honey, what do they mean? I honestly don't know what's going on here. Well, explain that. Oh my god. You think I would do that? Explain yourself. Now. I just told you. I went to the bathroom, I didn't do anything. I have a few suspects in mind, but it's not important. It's okay Annie, let me take your hand. I'm not Annie. Oh crap. Look. Dad. Oh my god. Oh my god, Priscilla fainted. 
This would mean that Cole was innocent. And the murderer is one of us. Poor Priscilla. We will put her here until she wakes up. I can't believe my dad is gone. Dora. Whoever did this to your dad, I'm gonna find them. And end them. I can't explain why Cole was attacked. But when Steve was killed, the gun was pointed forward, but the question is, where is it? Maybe if we search around that area where Steve was facing, we can find it. Hey Emma. Look. Steve was an accident. An accident? What do you mean, Emma? This gun was timed to fire directly at Caillou's chair. But Caillou left, and Steve was in the wrong place at the wrong time, so whoever was the murderer was after Caillou. Wait. Are you saying someone is trying to murder me? Yes. The question is, who wanted Caillou dead? Wait, wait, wait. What about Cole? How does he connect to all this? I don't know, that's a mystery. My guess is the murderer got scared that they would get exposed. Cole did say he knows a few suspects, but I think he said that out of defense. Right. All I need to do is just be protected by everyone. Exactly. For some reason the murderer is after you, does anyone have motive for wanting Caillou dead? Well, after everything I had done over the years. Everyone is a suspect, except for Dora, she's already had her spotlight. No need to remind me. Caillou. Think. Is there anything, or anyone, here you cross the line with recently? Well, there's one person who probably wants me dead. Abuela. Si, sí, he admitted, I'm angry that you and Dora are getting married. But I am no murderer. She's right. She probably too old to kill anyone. Maybe it's April. Sister of little Bill? I know little of her. Maybe she wants revenge. Are you serious? I hate my brother. He can rot in hell. Or maybe it's Mike. Maybe he's jealous. Hmm. I admit I'm disappointed Dora chose you. But I'm not capable of any of those atrocities. I just... I just don't know who it could be. Is there anyone else? Any arguments? Well, I did have one argument a few days ago to Nigel about. Um. Uh. A Viagra issue. What's that all about, Dad? I don't know what he is talking about. I never gave him drugs. Yes, he did. I don't like admitting it, but I take Viagra to help with my... Private area's stance. Haha, <laughs> Caillou can't boner. You're a boner. Gross, Mom. Caillou don't call your sister a boner. Everyone stop saying boner. Now Caillou, you were saying. The Viagra helps with. That, and they asked Nigel for more, but he refused, and they started to blackmail him that if he doesn't give me Viagra, I'm telling everyone, especially the cops that he got them from the black market. Nigel? The black market? How could you? You pompous young punk. Sounds like a pretty good motive to me. No! I would never kill anybody, never. Why should we trust you? You tried to kill me, killed Stephen Cole. Nigel, just surrender quietly. It would be easier for all of us. Ah! He's gone. Not for long. Where are you going? Where am I going? I'm gonna find him and bring justice. No, you can't leave. We need to protect you. You could die. If it means bringing justice to Dora's dad, it's worth it. Caillou.
you're dead. Nigel Thornburg. <laughs>